philosopher, Edison Leggers. I have just got back from the Paris Exposition. They ought to call it the Imposition. When I started, I bought a round trip ticket for myself and my wife. That was the luckiest thing I ever did. Everything was wrong from the time we started. They ain't no use of telling you all my troubles, but at last we got to Paris. Every hotel in the place was filled. Finally, I found a place to stop, but my wife and I had to sleep on a billiard table, and we had to pay $2 an hour for the use of the table. Then we had to get up at 3 o'clock in the morning as some of the guests wanted to play billiard. We walked around till breakfast time, then we went in the dining room. A waiter came to take our orders. I commenced to feel better. The waiter could talk English. So I ordered a steak and my wife ordered some broiled eggs. When he came back with the orders, my wife had the eggs all right, but he put a plate in front of me and all I could see was an napkin. I called the waiter and said I ordered a steak. He says, I brought it to you. I says, where is it? He says, under the napkin. I picked up the napkin, there was the steak. It looked like a crack in the plate. The waiter says it's pretty hot fluid. I was afraid to blow it, afraid I might blow it away, so I didn't try it. Just then my wife screamed. I turned to see the matter was. The first steak my wife opened concealed a little hen. The waiter looked at it. Then he says, don't let the landlord see it or he'll charge you for spring chicken. That settled us. We got up and walked out. Then my wife says, Rich, let's see the exposition and we will take the first boat for home. We got up to the exposition ground and I asked for the United Snakes building. An interrupter standing by says, you can't see the American building today. There's a freight car in front of it. We started back for the hotel and I went to get my watch to see the time. My watch was gone. Oh, Paris is a nice place. Went to get into a cab, put my hand in my pocket to get some money, my pocketbook was gone. That made me mad and I threw off my coat and offered to lick the cabman. He ran away. Turned around to put on my coat and my coat was gone. Oh, Paris is a nice place. I went along a little further, turned around to talk to my wife, and she was gone. But I couldn't lose her. She was waiting for me at the hotel. And that night we sailed for home. Oh, Paris is a nice place. Aba Nick. Shoot, there'll be a terrible day of reckoning when Gabriel blows his horn over Paris. Gabe will never blow his horn over Paris. Why not? They'll steal his horn before he gets a chance to blow it. <laughs>